Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new, make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another video like this one again. Today I have a remedy for you guys. Okay, so I've been practicing this for years and years and years. Uh, sometimes I fall off and I don't do it. Sometimes I do it more often than I should. But it's basically using salt and water to cleanse the negative energies of your home. So our house can accumulate a lot of negative energies. Now, let me kind of break this down. Sometimes we go out to work, then we come back home. We run into different people, our coworkers, our bosses, uh, other people that we uh, interact with throughout the day. Sometimes we go to the store, you are diff around different kinds of energies in that store, and then you come back home. You don't know what kinds of energies can latch on. You don't know what kinds of energies can uh, be stuck on you just because you were around another person. And it happens, right? It's not nothing to be scared of because there's remedies out here. Spiritually, you can cleanse these things off of you and off of your house. And that's what I'm here to teach you. So what I do, I'm going to share with you my how I cleanse my house. And it is using salt and water and something else, but you don't need that something else. But um, the main thing is using salt and water and mopping, cleaning your whole house with that salt and water because it removes, because when you come back in your house, you're walking around your house and say like sometimes you have arguments and miscommunication and tension, irritation, uh, depression, stress, anxiety, and you're feeling those emotions inside your house. So you want to cleanse the floor because our feet are touching that floor and this floor is what grounds us to earth energy too. So we have to clean it, we have to nurture it and protect it. And salt and water is a really, really good way to do that. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I do um, and let me know how you would tweak it because this is a tweaked recipe for me. Like I tweaked it in my own way and I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, but let me know how you guys tweak it. You could add some lemon in there. You could add some black pepper in there. But this is my recipe and I wanted to share it with you guys. But before we do get into that, I do want to let you know that I have a Patreon channel, which a lot of you guys have joined and I'm so excited for you guys to be there. I do weekly readings and I do videos that I can't really put on YouTube. Like there's a lot of things you can't talk about here on YouTube anymore. So I put those over on my Patreon channel. And I just love my little family that we have created over there. It's beautiful. And I hope that you guys join too. And then um, I do have a book on Amazon. I'll link that down below and visit my shop. I have a bunch of new items, bunch of new things coming soon. I have lots of ideas, lots of new things I want to create. Um, as you can see, I'm like, I am starting to dress myself up a little bit more. I need to get back into me. You know, I've just been kind of, uh, lately I've been sluggish. I've been, uh, it's so hot here. You don't want to do anything. It's just, you, you just lazy and sitting on the couch like a slob, but I can't do that. So I got myself up and I wanted to share all these remedies with you guys because these things work. So with that being said, let's get into it. So here is my little secret recipe. It's not secret recipe but this is what I use and I'm about to right after I finish filming I'm gonna mop my entire house with this little recipe so what you're gonna need is some hot water so I have some hot water that I use this water warmer which I'll link down below for you guys it's on Amazon for like 20 bucks it's not super hot it's a little lukewarm I'm not gonna use too much because I am gonna be putting this in a spray bottle now and then the next thing that I do is take my salt I'm going to put my hand over the salt and I'm going to say, I cleanse this house, I cleanse all the negativity and all the evil eye, all the gossip, all the stuck, stagnant, nasty, malignant, negative energies away from my house. As I mop this floor, my house will be cleansed and I command it, right? Something like that. Just say, say something that you feel like you resonate with. And then you're going to, and this is just about a tablespoon of salt. Salt is very, very cleansing. It's very purifying. And salt is used to get rid of negative entities, negative spirits, evil eyes. So 
That is actually all you're going to need. But what I like to do is add a little bit of cleaner to it. Um, and I really like, I'm not sponsored or anything. I really like this brand of cleaner. So I have the lavender one here and I have the pine one here. I think for today, I'm going to use some of the lavender one. I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of that lavender one right there. And just a little bit goes a long way, you guys. And then what I'm going to do is put this in a spray bottle, right? And I'm going to spray it all over my floors. And then I have my Swiffer and the dry cloth for the Swiffer. So, you know, you could, you could even use a white cloth or you can use a mop. But this is actually very, very, very good to do in your house, you guys. This is for removing so much negative energy. And while you're doing this, you are actually, the way you're cleansing your house, these energies are going away. So you're going to have to fill that energy of your house back up with something. So what I like to do is play music while I'm doing this or a mantra or like a good high frequency of something because you're removing everything. So you want to re-infuse your floors with something positive because we are dealing with water. Water absorbs memory and energy. Okay. And watch within a few days, I'm telling you, something very good will happen. You guys, I'm telling you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on my other platforms as well. My Etsy shop, my Patreon, and even my book. And uh, thank you all for supporting me on those other platforms. It helps me make more videos for you like this. And uh, I'll see you there. Bye.